Okay, now we are moving on to 2.2. Okay, so each of the finalists received a cash prize and sponsored prizes. Okay, the top 12 each received a cash prize of 25,000 Rand and sponsored prizes worth 180,000 Rand. You're living their best lives. The first runner up received a cash prize of 250,000 Rand and sponsored prizes worth 348760. Oh, I'm terrible at saying those numbers. Um, Miss South Africa 2018 received a total prize package of 3 million. Okay, this included 1 million in cash and a Nissan. I'm not sure how to say that. Um, she won a Nissan car worth that much amount of money. 445, 500. Okay, cool. So let's now jump into the question. So it says, determine the ratio in its simplest form of the cash prize money received for the top 12 to the first runner up to the winner. Okay, so we know that, right? So we're going to just write this just so that we know. Right, I'm gonna say second place, right? And first runner up, second place, right? And first place. So we know, let me just make sure you can see what I'm saying. All right, that the, each of these guys got 25,000 Rand. It's over here, right? I'm not making up any lies up in here. The, the f second place got that much, okay? And the first place got 3 million. Okay, is that correct? Oh, wait, you got 3 million in total price, but it was only 1 million cash. You see, it's very important to read the question. Otherwise, you are making up your own question. Okay, so that's how much we had that. Just remember how to write a million, six zeros, okay? Uh, but let's just simplify it, right? Because it said simplest form, right? Which means this one has to equal one. That's generally what it means. It means the one that is on the far left, all right, should equal one. So. Let's figure out what these guys must be. So what do we have to do to 25,000 to get to, to one? We have to divide by 25,000. Now, when I have a ratio, what I do to the one side, I must do to all other sections, okay? Because this actually has three sides here now to a ratio, okay? So let's divide the middle, all right? So that's 250,000 divided by right 25,000 we have 10 now in the middle let's do that to a million remember your number of zeros here it's easy to get wrong okay and that is 40. so our simplest ratio is if you're in the top 12 and didn't come second or first you got for every one you got the second place got 10 and the first place got 40. okay that is what a ratio is okay that's a little bit tricky because it's a three-way ratio but it's okay Okay, it's one of those things, again, we would do things slowly and methodically and we can get there. So, let's now do 2.2.2. 2.2.2 says, calculate how much the sponsored prizes, excluding the cash and the car, important, amounted to for the winner. Okay, so we know that the winner got 3 million rand. So let's write it out. Okay, she got 3 million. The cash was 1 million. So this is, I'm just going to write some words on top of here just so that you can follow me. Total minus car, right? My, oh, sorry, that's not car. I'm lying to you up in here. That's the cash minus the car, which was this much. Okay. All right. So if we put this into our calculator, it will give us how much it was in sponsored prizes. Okay. So we say 3 million. Importantly, put in the right number of zeros. Take out of the million, right, which is the cash, and take out the Nissan. Okay, so this is how much was in sponsored prizes. Okay, so this is just literally, they're wanting you to display that you understand sort of how the prize was split up. It wasn't just 3 million rand, it was 3 million rand in various different segments. Some of it was cash, some of it was a car, and the rest was sponsored prizes. Okay, so that's that. Let's now go on to the last question for this question. So, the last question for this question says, show that the percentage increase of cash prize money from a top 12 contestant to that of a winner is 3,900%. Okay, so don't panic about that. Let's just read this formula they've given us. They said the percentage increase, we have the difference, so the original times 100%. 
So, right, we're saying the percentage increase of cash prize money from, right, the top 12 contestants to that of the winner. So, let's just write top 12 was 25,000 Rand. Okay, we know that from over here, right? So the winner was 1 million cash, right? So winner equals 1 million Rand, okay? What is the difference? The difference is this 1 million minus this 25,000, right? Which is 975 thousand now you could be saying margie how did you do that i just did that in my head right but you can plunk that into your calculator you'll get the same answer don't worry about the way i do it just make sure you are following the maths and the logic that's more important than whether you're putting in your calculator or doing it in your head i would generally put it in your calculator just because sometimes in exams we lose our cool and we sometimes lose you know makes mistakes that we wouldn't really make otherwise right but that's okay let's now Put it into our calculator, right? So we know that our percentage increase is our different, which is this amount here, over our original. What was the original, guys? We're comparing it to the top 12. So I'm going to write your original just to remind us of what we're comparing it to, right? It's over 25,000 times by 100. So Let's put that into our calculator. This one I'm not gonna do in my head because I ain't, I ain't got that in my head. Okay, 25,000 and you times it by 100. And that gives us exactly the percentage we wanted. Okay, all right. So this was just understanding what was being asked and putting it into maths. Okay, so that is that question done.